What is shown? What is shoujo? What is sand? What is jose? If you're looking for the answers to these questions, you've come to the right place. When I first started reading and collecting manga, I had no idea what these terms meant. And I had to do some research to discover them for myself. So in this video, we're gonna go over the four different manga demographic types, as well as some recommendations for each of them. Welcome to the GTP. My name is Scott, and my goal is to help you create great experiences for yourself and your family. If you'd like to see more content like this, and you've not done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. After this video, in the comments below, would you mind recommending a manga for beginners? And then share, is it a shown? Is it a Saiyan? Is it a Jose? Or is it Shoujo? So right off the bat, let's go ahead and start off with the most popular and most known demographic type, and that is shown. Now, shown manga is geared towards teenage boys. Think of it kind of like a PG-13 movie. Now, some of the most popular is Dragon Ball, One Piece, Naruto, and Demon Slayer is probably one of the most popular currently probably more likely because of the anime of doing so well. And my favorite that I also highly recommend checking out for yourself for a beginner is My Hero Academia. It's actually the manga that got me into collecting in the first place. Now, a shown manga typically has a lot of action, adventure, teamwork, the power of friendship, as well as adolescence and just learning how to grow up. Now let's talk about the second manga type, and that's called shoujo. Now shoujo is the opposite of shown, that it is geared towards teenagers, but instead is geared towards teenage girls. Some of the most popular titles for a shoujo manga is Fruit Baskets, Sailor Moon, Banana Fish, and one I highly recommend checking out for yourself, that's actually in my top 10, is called Orange. Common themes with a shoujo manga are typically romance, drama, and coming of age. Now moving on, there are two manga demographics that are actually geared towards those who are over 18. Think of it kind of like watching a radar movie or watching a show that is TVMA. So these two manga types we're about to talk about are definitely not for kids nor are they geared towards a kid's audience. The name of the manga demographic that's geared towards adult males is called Saiyan. Now a Saiyan manga, similar to a shown manga, will still have themes like action and adventure, except it also could have a lot more violence, sometimes gore, could have sex, and other heavy adult themes. Two of the most popular of all time is called Berserk and Goodnight Pun Pun. Now I do have to forewarn, sometimes even I, while reading some of these type of manga, I've actually had to stop reading due to some of the adult content. A few that I highly recommend checking out for those who are over 18 is Pluto, 20th Century Boys, and Vinland Saga. The female manga demographic that's geared towards those who are over 18 is called Jose. Now a Jose manga, while similar themes, similar to a shoujo of drama, romance, but will also have a lot more heavy adult content, perhaps even sex involved, just to name a few of the categories, that's definitely geared towards those who are over 18. Now some of the most popular and known Jose manga is Nana, Paradise Kiss, Princess Jellyfish, and 07 Ghosts to name a few. So those are the four manga demographics. Congratulations, now you're a pro. Thank you for taking Manga 101. Now you might be asking, but is there any manga that's geared towards kids? And the answer is yes. If you click the eye on the top right hand corner, you can check out some of my manga recommendations that are great for kids as well as a couple graphic novels. If you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.